All right. Hello, everyone. Today is um, not a video that I would like to make according to my uh, schedule. But since this is a good learning experience for me and anyone else that has been putting your money down into Luna, Terra, or, you know, like all kind of projects you are doing with the Terra Foundation, the Terra system, uh, I think we should talk about it a little bit. Okay. Uh, why, you know, like if, if you are new to the crypto um, things or if you open your news channel in the past like seven days, you should have heard that there is like a top 10 coin in the crypto industry that has been losing 90, 95, 99% of its value. That is Luna and UST. Okay. And uh, I will approach this as a newbie, uh, as usual, um, because um, I don't understand anything about Luna as well. I, I didn't make my investment into it, but it's just for fun. It's like very small amount of money, which is, you know, like to, uh, to, to my income, it doesn't impact me. But it, it left me some feeling um, that worth consider for my order portfolio, right? Um, so, so that is my full disclosure to it. Um, yeah. So, so what happened, right? So somebody will lost a lot of money, uh, in the past seven days. And, um, I don't know, man, like I feel, uh, I have a mixed feeling about this, right? At one hand, it confirmed the old saying that high risk, high return, at the same time, high risk, zero return, right? Or even negative because you are on um, short or long position, right? you follow the news, there's tons of people talking about it. But I would like to give you some, some brief summary uh, so that you can take away from it. All right, so, so Luna is part of the Terra uh, ecosystem. If you follow this project uh, long enough, you will know that last year this project only have a few uh, decentralized application on it, right? Uh, only a handful. But if right now you open, um, you know, Twitter, you do some research about them, they have more than 100 projects on there. So this is one of the reasons why um, the Terra Foundation, uh, which, you know, like produce the UST coin, and Luna, like I, I, I will use the term coin uh, interchangeably, but some people doesn't like that way, right? Uh, it has more value because these, it show to, you know, like an ordinary investor that uh, they have some growth, they have expansion, right? So these are the basic evaluation for, you know, like whether or not it's a good investment, right? That's number one. Number two, right? Why are people interested in this? Because if you stake your money into this system, they will guarantee you 20% interest, which is really, really interesting. I mean, really, really high, right? Uh, the company I worked for last year, they also guarantee you 16% on our own company, right? Uh, but right now, you know, like we realize that. So we reduce the price uh, to this year down to like 12%, right? What kind of coin, what kind of company is it? You do your own rework. Um, you do, you do your own research. Right? Uh, I, I'm not here to advertise about where I work. I'm here to share with you about Luna UST. Okay? So that's the second thing, high interest, right? And the mechanism of, you know, like Luna UST, um, which is quite a little bit hard to explain to you guys. So I'll try my best to doing it. Right? There, there's two concepts on the coin when you're approaching it. Uh, is one if you build like some kind of stable coin where you would like that to become like a a monetary system for everything else. Like you think of the dollars, the friends, you know, like the rubies. Right? These are national currencies. So everyone will want it for, for your daily life, right? You want to buy it for a pizza, you want to buy it for some Italian noodles or whatever it is, right? So that is your tea. And the goal of the UST is always try to pick 
one dollars, like one dollars for one Luna. That is the basic definition of these two things. Now, it will get a little bit more uh, complicated and harder to understand from here, right? So, in order to create a value of one dollar for UST, you have to have something backing up, right? For example, a dollar of USD, the dollars, maybe back it will be backing up by one dollar of gold, right? That that is maybe I'm not sure how they're doing it, but that that should be the very simple. Um, definition of it. So this is how Dokun, which is the leader of this Terra thing, uh, trying to do. Now, I think on the paper, this logic is fair enough. And um, it had a strong point, but it's also a it weak point has not been uh, well studied or defense or like stress test against you know, do who is like better in terms of exploit this kind of weakness. Uh, that is why in the past seven days, the past 14 days, you see the price of Luna has keep uh, decreasing. And at the same time, USDT, no, no, UST is decreasing as well. The reason is that, um, I'll, I'll talk first about the conspiracy here, right? That Dokun has bought a lot of BTC in order to support the UST. So if this act by itself is very um, normal because yeah, it's true. You need to do back it you need to backing up the UST with Luna. Now you're backing it up with BTC. Maybe in the future you're backing up with whatever you like. So that is uh, the strategy or the approach is okay. But here's the thing. Bitcoin is the king of the cryptocurrency, right? So when Bitcoin is going down, everything else going down, right? Luna, for some reason, can bypass this kind of trend in the past uh, six month performance. Like you see, you're seeing it. Like Luna sometimes can can uh, showing the uptrend why BTC is going down, but that is before he bought the BTC and he started pegging things under BTC and who know what he did with the UST. Yeah, as a pegging or like backing up, like peg, pegging is kind of like the wording is kind of hard for you guys to understand, but I call it backing up, right? Um, yeah, so that's the starting point. He start to pull more fun and resourcing into like like build up the UST uh, empire, but in this case, uh, some people is exploiting uh, his system for some reason or somehow, right? They use the event of BTC and the whole market is going down to push this, right? This is a conspiracy. So, so it, it, it may be wrong, like 100%. Um, so, so these people who are selling uh, BTC to Dokun in exchange for UST, right? So in their hand, they have both things that can impact the price uh, of the UST as well as Luna. Luna is like a, a next step afterward, right? Because I haven't discussed about the mechanic of how you mint UST and how you mint Luna, right? Uh, but in this case, this person has bought enough BTC that can cause some impact into the market. And he also have a significant amount of UST in order to depressing the price of UST as well in case if they dump into the market, right? So, so this, this person or this group or whatever, whoever it is, they did that and they create a pressure on both sides of the UST, right? So when the UST price is going down, people start to panic and it start to trigger the mechanism of Luna, like minting this and that, right? So that is eventually create a, a third pressure on Luna for dumping it as well. So these three things happen at the same time. And on top of it, it's a market is downtrend, Luna crash. That is how I understand of these things, right? So that is the snowball effect of one side crash lead to another one that is crash as well. And with the macroeconomic, it's not so well right now. Um, 
the past few days has been very horrible for investors, particularly on the crypto market, because this is a new market, right? Everything here has not been stress tested before, except Bitcoin and Ethereum, some sort of, right? Um, so, so a lot of people lost money, right? Uh, some, some, um, you know, like rich artists uh, who claim to lost two million worth um, of Luna uh, before the crash. So now he got like 10k, you know, like some money left. Um, but you know, like, but but for him, I think he he may survive it. Um, but uh, my friend, he uh, he like some of my friend, he did come back. They they did try to come back. Uh, to the crypto and they invest, they lost more than me. So uh, it, I'm sure they it, it have some impact on their mentality as well, right? The, the loss there is real, so be very careful. And this come to my next point is that in the investment things, there is an old saying, buy the freaking dip or buy the fucking dip, right? If, if you, you can curse as much as you want right now because uh, everybody is in dip shit. Um, yeah, buying the dip is a really good concept as long as the products that you are believe in still exist. But in this case, Luna and UST appear to be in the complete stall. You know, what do I mean by this, right? Um, Dokon and his team decide to hold the process of minting and, you know, like decide to give up Luna, sacrifice Luna in order to protect UST, right? So in the war game, okay, you lost one, you know, like um, warrior, you still have the general to play the end game. But in this case, the way the, his, his team and his organization is responding and is, it's kind of like disturb people, right? This is the very gen generous word that I use for you, man. Um, they apply the laissez-faire concept. Laissez-faire is a French uh, proverb, meaning let it go, let it be, right? Which is really, uh, I mean, in this case, which is really not appropriate because uh, the stake at hand is really big. You are talking as a top 10 coin in the crypto market, right? Um, and you has been featured by folk, whatsoever. Uh, so, 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 so the leadership here is really weak, which impact the morale of everyone that have some sort of relationship to this. It, it, it's either the developer, it's either the, the investor or as a fan, anti-fan, even lawmaker right now, right? Lawmaker here is a very interesting topic because I believe they, for the one that is like, that doesn't like crypto in general, they will use this scenario as a very good example to say, hey, you see, this business is no good. Let's kill it, right? So, so, so this, single incident event generate you know like just 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 split the the, the crowd into two sides right one side is okay you you deserve to be like that right because dokun itself uh, it's not a really good leadership figure as well if you do the research uh but i'm not here to you know like bet mouth about him uh on his personality it's just like i only evaluate him based on what he right on the twister based on how the Luna Foundation Guard has been responding. These are based on the fact, right? Uh, so I'm not trying not to give my personal uh, emotion in here too much. And um, yeah, so, so that is the, the, the side that hate crypto. Now come to the side that is really supporting this. Like people is saying like, they, 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 they are willing or they here, meaning individual, investor, even other de developer, is coming out and trying to say, like, we are willing to help in order to rebuilding it. Because in the past, we have a couple of projects has been what, what we call the rug pull, meaning like it's a scam, it's a this and that, but, but 
if you gather a, a large enough community, you will have some really good talent, like really good leadership inside the community, really good developer who is willing to going out to help you guys to fix the problem of balancing between UST and Luna and whatsoever, right? Um, on, on the positive side, you see people is like that. And people is actually buying more. Like, uh, I, I think three days ago, there's more money it's been pulling in because they still believe this is the bottom of Luna and this is the bottom of USD. They should backing up, right? As an investor, as of wait, whatever it is, I right? buy the freaking dip. People are still believing it, but as a founder, as an organization, we see nothing from 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 these individual these individual. So, so I don't know what to say, man. Right? This is to you, Dokwon, like as a leader, you need to. I I do a background check on you, and the only thing I can find is that besides Stanford as the name. And besides, you have some investment in some organization. That's all I can tell about you. I never seen you work for some corporate. I never seen you work here and there. Uh, or at least I couldn't, I didn't find it correctly. But to me, uh, if that is not obvious on the internet, meaning your exposure to um, the general corporate, the general, you know, like professional world, you are not there yet. You are just someone. Um, who catch the wave, uh, get the opportunity, got the brain, got the team, and going up from there. But you didn't horn uh, yourself for some characteristic or some skill that is very important in this kind of crisis, right? Or even the organization, like not not just him. Um, they they don't have it, like or like what what we usually call is um, crisis management, right? These people doesn't have it, so that's why it create more panic and just more messy, mm -hmm. right? So I think for for my video at this point, um, it's a wake up call for those who are in crypto, including myself, uh, because I my my balance um, I, I can disclose my my loss, uh, like unrealized loss for you guys. If I take the top performance of my uh, portfolio versus the lowest one, which is like couple of days ago, I have lost in baht. It's 1 million baht. In Vietnam Dong, it's about 722 million Vietnam Dong, right? Or if you do in dollars, uh, 1 million, you should divide it by 30. That should be around, I don't know, $30,000 or something, right? That is my unrealized loss. Think about that. How long do you have to save in order to get that money? Right? A very simple event. A couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, kill a lot of your hope. Right? Um, in, in my case, I'm I'm still a little bit lost into that that the the, the, the market downtrend eating into my investment, uh, but I'm not as total loss. I'm I'm still breathing a little bit. Right? Um, yeah. But the thing, it's very scary, uh, and and that come back to my last year video, which I uh, advise you guys, which is my my sincere one, is you never borrow to invest. Um, you shouldn't go it into like some kind of leverage, because leverage, you know, finance one hundred one is telling people that higher leverage is higher return. Yes. But at the same time, your professor say higher leverage, higher loss. That's what happened in the past couple of days, right? It proves that. So, uh, so, so these these things are something I would like to share with you guys, and uh, I hope you guys can get through it. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for your time, and please subscribe. Peace out.